Hi. I've got Pixar movies. A lot of them. Now, we don't need to go through every single one, but I just want to show you some notable things. Um, a lot of them have lenticular covers, but not all do. Uh, one notable exception would be the original, Toy Story. The 3D version has a 2D cover. But you know what? I'm actually kind of okay with that, because uh, it's reminiscent of the original VHS cover, which is kind of nostalgic. That same picture. Of course, Toy Story was released in 3D after the fact, as a double feature with Toy Story 2 and later on Blu-ray. And uh, a couple of the other ones that got 2D covers were uh, Cars and Finding Nemo. I'm not sure if they released it with a lenticular cover in any markets, but these are the 2D versions at least. Some of the covers aren't that great, like for Toy Stories 2 and 3. Very generic, uh, slapped together images with weak 3D. But um, an example of good 3D in a cover would be Monsters Incorporated. This one has very powerful 3D angles, not only from the floor, but from the door. Yeah, it's very striking. And then there's the oddball of the re-releases would be Ratatouille. This was released as an exclusive of sorts in Europe. It's uh, widely listed as being region-free, but it isn't. It's region B locked, so you need a region-free uh, 3D Blu-ray player to play it back. And later on, they included a slipcover variant uh, that also has the number of the film on the side, number 8, by some counts. The only other wide-release 3D Blu-ray without a lenticular cover that I can think of is Monsters University. Now, when Frozen came to home video, which is not a Pixar movie, but a Disney movie, uh, that was notable for being a major film that was not released on Blu-ray 3D in the United States and there was some outcry over that. So Disney went back in and they actually released three Blu-ray 3D movies on the same day in 2016. They released The Jungle Book, uh, the collector's edition of Star Wars Episode 7, The Force Awakens, and Pixar's Finding Dory, which was the last Pixar movie to be released on 3D in the United States on Blu-ray as well as with a lenticular cover. After that, they switched over to solely overseas having the 3D option, which can easily and cheaply be imported, by the way. Just buy it on Amazon UK, among other options. There are a number of options, usually. And crazily enough, it's often either the same price or cheaper, depending on where you buy it. So yeah, starting with Cars 3 onward, literally onward to onward, <laughs> Uh, the Pixar movies were released on Blu-ray 3D in places like the UK. And you can tell because it has these, they have that stupid law about plastering these ugly rating symbols on their movie packages. Boy, what a shame to be living over there, huh? Desecrating the artwork. But hey, you get the 3D version, that's the most important thing. In the US, they have a variety of disc case options. And, but the most common one is a 13 millimeter Blu-ray case. However, in the UK, you get the same thing for most, which is a slightly wider Blu-ray case. It's actually the same width as a DVD case. I know what you're going to say. Planes is not a Pixar movie. I know, technically, even though it was based on Pixar properties and uh, the project of John Lasseter. It, the lines really got muddled after uh, Disney bought Pixar and John Lasseter moved to Disney Animation Studios as well. So, I mean, it's really all in the family anyway. So anyway, the first Planes movie was released widely on Blu-ray 3D without a lenticular cover. But the second one, oddly enough, didn't get a UK Blu-ray 3D release like many do nowadays. It eventually did get an India release, which is easier to find. But the thing with that is they usually don't include the disc with the bonus material. They just include the 3D version. However, there is a South American release, which is uh, one of the most interesting Blu-rays I have appearance-wise. Um, 
it has the same image that was on the English Best Buy exclusive cover that was ironically lenticular for a 2D release. Go figure. This is it right here and you'll notice that it's not in English. However, the disc itself is exactly what would have been or should have been sold in America because it has English as the primary language on the disc. This does say that it's locked to region A, so I'm not sure, sometimes those are inaccurate, it could be region free or actually just region A. There's the back of the case, notice it has the website for Disney Latino. So the title of this film is Aviones 2, Equipo de Rescate, I don't know if I'm saying that right, but Planes 2, Fire and Rescue. And here's the cool part, it comes in a transparent clear Blu-ray case with this uh, pretty v shiny violet logo for the Blu-ray logo at the top. Usually would be silver on many cases like it. This one's violet. And inside there's the 3D Blu-ray and the plain blue 2D Blu-ray. Now Onward was just starting its theatrical release when many things started shutting down due to uh, the reactions to uh, COVID-19. So it didn't do much time at the box office, but they did release a 3D Blu-ray of it afterwards as well as on to Disney Plus prematurely. And then things really changed with the release of Pixar's movie Soul as well as other movies like Mulan. These movies were fully made in 3D. The 3D version exists and it uh, played, I think, in some areas overseas in 3D. However, no 3D version is made available on Blu-ray, so outside of those uh, relatively few foreign screenings, there's no real way for anyone to see it, see these things in 3D, and uh, hopefully, going forward, this will not be a practice, because we probably already got some more lost films, I call them lost films, if they exist in 3D and you suppress that 3D version and it's basically gone forever because you're not going to bother with it, it's a lost film. I don't care. So we'll see what happens with that. I'll see you next time.